Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shaving with Rich. Looking different these days, huh? Well, long story, was not planning on doing this. Um, I know with uh, Movember, we definitely grew out the beard and um, I did say that if uh, we raised over $2,000, I'd shave my head. We didn't raise the $2,000, but there were some other things that did happen, and uh, consequently, I ended up shaving my head. So, um, and I wasn't able to cap capture it, but I need to do another head shave, so I'm going to do that for you guys today. So let's get straight to it. What do you say? All right, so... What are we going to be shaving with today? We are going to be shaving with uh, one of my very favorite Bay Rum scented soaps. And that is uh, from my buddy uh, Hunter Green, uh, known on YouTube and also on Facebook and Instagram. You can find him. He has a soap which is Captain Hunter's uh, Shave Soap. And this is... Um, Mutiny is the uh, is what this Bay, Bay Rum scented soap is. So he has Mutiny and Blimey. So it does kind of follow that pirate theme, which is great. I love it. And um, anyways, uh, really, really top end, top shelf product. Um, and he has uh, more that's available. I will leave a link. Not a link, but um, I'll put it up, his his uh, contact information, either right here or right here, it depends on my editing. And uh, anyways, you can get matching uh, aftershaves with it. Um, so this is great stuff as well. And uh, this is actually, it's not an aftershave, it's a splash, but it's matching. There's no alcohol in this. It's got... Uh, uh, aloe vera, witch hazel, argan oil, uh, red castor extracts, uh, liquid silk, essential oils, and uh, fragrances, of course. The one thing with this is that uh, you do have to shake it before you use it, but it's really great stuff. I'm going to use this at the end of my shave, and I'm excited about that. So, in addition, the razor, I'm uh, very excited uh, to use, and that is the Mula R41. This is a beast. So, uh, I've been waiting, waiting for <laughs> ever since the beginning of November. Um, and that's from my buddy Ken Lee. He actually sent this razor to me to use and see how I liked it. So, um, thanks Ken and I'll also if you guys are not subscribed to Ken Lee um, I'll leave the information as well so you can see that and uh, it'll be in the comments the links as well if you want to click over to his YouTube channel and subscribe and he's got a fun style about the way that he does his shaving channel and he just uh, tells things how it is. He gives his opinion on everyday topics, and it's uh, it's just a uh, it's a little bit unique on uh, take on shaving. You know, it's great. It's like it's like uh, listening to a friend talk about what's going on uh, in their world and our world. It's and you know, entertain with shave as well. So he'll he'll uh, keep you up to date on. Uh, and educated on shaving as well. So it's a good mixture of those. Anyways, I'm super, super excited to shave with this thing. So we'll get this thing going again. This is Captain Hunter's Mutiny Bay Rum. And I love it. It is fantastic, fantastic. So we're just gonna do um, I'm uh, just going to lather from straight from the brush today. So we'll get this loaded. I don't know if you call it a face lather when it's the top of your head. I don't know the jargon. I'm brand new to this bald headed thing. Um, but yeah, it's great. 
And the best part about it is I never have to worry about uh, my doing my hair having a bad hair day. <laughs> All right. So um, here we go. We have our uh, Omega S brush loaded. Get my uh, head wet here. Give me just a second. I usually don't shave with long sleeve shirts. In addition, I'm going to add a little bit of Sterling Bayram pre-shave oil. This stuff smells great as well. And you don't, don't need very much of this stuff. So... Good on that. And then, because it is pre shave oil, I just wash my hands to get that uh, slickness off my hands before I start handling a sharp razor. Actually, you know what? I am going to bowl lather. Sorry. I changed my mind. We'll uh, do that really quickly here. All right, so just had to roll up my sleeves a little bit. And uh, so this is going to be the second use with a Voskhod blade in the uh, Mula R41. I really love the uh, open comb design on this razor. It looks pretty uh, mild, but don't let it fool you. This is an aggressive razor. All right, so. I love the uh, just bowl lathering for me. It's great. It's, I made a pretty good lather for what I'll need for the head shave. And we'll get this going. Feels great. <laughs> Never thought I would enjoy that, but it's a good experience when you have a nice, clean shaven head. So it is uh, unique. Well, for me, I'm just going to start right in the center here. You can hear it cutting. I'm just doing this by feel. Because I don't have uh, a mirror behind me.
That is a baby butt smooth. Just the way I love it. I hold a high standard for any shave. <laughs> good, good, good stuff. All right. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Clubman uh, Bay Rum first. There's definitely some sting to that. Any of you guys who like to use this, but it smells pretty good for the price. And I'm gonna follow that up with a little bit of this, which is very, very good for your skin. And last but not least, a little bit of Agartha Pulse Balm by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, which I will also leave links for. In the comments. There you have it. Little, little bit of a uh, couple nicks. Nothing horrific at all. Um, but yeah, I love uh, the tight uh, BBS feeling. So I'll call that a win. Mule R41 with a Voskhod blade second use. And I'm curious to use this, try this with some other blades and see where the sweet spot is for me uh, with this. But definitely very happy about that. Um, stay tuned uh, for future videos. I've got some other amazing uh, shaving products coming up and some good shaves as well um but you'll have to stay tuned to see what that is all about anyways we'll catch you next time this has been shaving with rich